Uh, you hmm. said earlier that you rode you rode a bit of motorbike trials. And it hmm. made me think about like like uh, when you were when you were growing up, who were you like? Because because you sort of I think of um, you as the first of your style of riding. So oh, who no, are you def- like looking no. at? No, but I, I I I was looking up to the same people like Martin Ashton and those guys. Yeah, but. But I feel like yours is more like street and BMX and loads of different other stuff. Yeah, but if you if you watch all if you watch like Martin and Ash and Martin Hawes' stuff, um, especially I mean Ryan Leach and Jeff Lenoski were huge influences yeah. on me. Yeah. Well, obviously at Craig as well. Yeah. yeah. You, I mean, well, he, he was in he was always in um, MBUK, but you very rarely got to see videos of him. You know, when we were in our kind of teens, kind of thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you look at what they were doing by then, it's just, you know, it's not like I've done, I'm doing, I mean, maybe I added some, I would say natural kind of progression stuff. Like we tried to do some flips and yeah. occasional tail whips, which I still can't really do these days. Um, Painful, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just cannot get, I just cannot get tail whips dialed. I do them goofy and I just, cause I never hit jumps or like, um, it's always like flat tail whips or up a drop. They're just so much energy and you try them 20 times or you do them for like a line in a video and then I don't really do them much, you know, with that. No. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, no, definitely. I mean, that, right, uh, Hans Ray as well. I mean, Hans is kind of, it was definitely more Martin Ashton, you know, it was definitely MBUK. Yeah. One, and then we had a couple of uh, videotapes, um, like Revolution and evolve contact there was like a, a series of trials videos with um ryan leach and jeff lenoski being the main kind of writers oh cool i didn't see those no i, I didn't. had one called um ot p trial technique oh yeah That's yeah that cool. was good yeah really did you see did you see ot p's film the other day where he's no like, he, he's almost like dressed up like a sort of clockwork orange character like um who's this who is it ot p ot p, Ot-P is like the He's like the sort of grandfather of of uh, trials riding, kind of much like okay. I mean, like him and Hans Ray used to compete in the trials. But I would say Ott was probably more technically um, what's the word? But he was yeah, better technically gifted, better to come. Yeah, I mean Hans kind of understood how to kind of take it mainstream, whereas yeah. Ott was uh, more of the sort of top comp guy, but. He did this video. I mean, I don't know what, what he must be. Sort of, certainly late forties, early fifties, and he did this sort of obstacle course round his. Um, I don't know if it's like a tennis court or something or a basketball court, and it is absolutely mental. You oh, need to go wicked. check it. Yeah, well, definitely sorry. will. We'll link to it in the show description as well for people. We'll, we'll throw it up this, there. Yeah, it's on this kind of road bike, all dressed in what is slightly weird, but it's mental. <laughs> kind of hey, so right thinking about it. Was Hans Ray the first dude to do trials on like a mountain bike? Before then, it was all twenty inch. Yeah, I would say. I mean, yeah, he grew up kind of riding the, the kind of original kind of converted sort of Schwinn style, um, twenty inches, and they, you know they they evolved into the sort of GT twenty inch bikes. Yeah. Okay. But then he kind of did that kind of transition onto the mountain bikes and really sort of took it to the mainstream. You know. Um, yeah. Uh- yeah, whenever I think of Hans, I do think, like you just said, of someone who really managed to sort of almost penetrate the industry and get some really big sponsors behind him as well. Mm-hmm. You know, I always think of him with the, you know, GT stuff and, oh God, yeah. I, that, that jersey is just like iconic to Hans Ray, yeah, right? You see that. Still, it's funny, he's still got the same... same yeah, he, he's like eight, stayed... Eight years later, you know? Yeah, it's, stayed all the way through. I went to his um, talk. You know, like, he, oh, yeah, he does yeah. those, like, talks. It was one of the coolest things ever, it's mind, man. mind-blowing, isn't it? Like, Absolutely all the stuff mind-blowing, that... yeah. yeah. And I took a lot from it, you know, because he's kind of, he treats him, he, he's obviously thought about it back in the day, thought, like, mm, I can actually, I'm, I'm more of a brand. Yeah. I'm actually, mm. ha- Hans Ray is, like, this thing that I need to keep up. So all of his unif like, he looks exactly the same throughout <laughs> his career, you know, down yeah. to the colours, down to the, like, Oh, it's very it's uniform, so isn't cool. it? Every year, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. just like an action man, kind of. <laughs> just a different haircut, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's massively inspiring. I mean, I think. 
<laughs> you know, he realized what it was to kind of, um, kind of knew how to sort of do things that broke out with the scene, you know, choosing yeah. the right, choosing the right locations that had a bit of a story, you know, whereas the cliffs of more are, you know, later on in his career. Yeah. Um, or jumping on that, uh, the top of that taxi. Was it taxi? Oh, that, that image yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Right? I love that, that image. But, and, and now yeah. even in days like much more, uh, you know, in more modern times, he's like the Kilimanjaro trip that you did with him. Aye. How crazy yeah. was that? Oh, it was, well, crazy, yes. Crazy is the word. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, he, I mean, he's really, 